this is Eldad Moraro, your personal realtor, and I'm here today with Matt Oleggi, who's a real estate attorney at Shulman Rogers, does settlements, a full service law firm, and we're here today to speak specifically about title insurance. What is it, why do you need it, and what's it all about? So Matt, thanks for being with us. Sure. No what is title insurance? Title insurance is insurance that protects purchasers of and, and lenders against real property um, for losses and lawsuits that are claimed that arise after a real estate settlement, but for issues that existed before the real estate settlement. Um, in short, as to a buyer, owner's title insurance is a one-time policy premium that you pay to buy an insurance policy that guarantees you that the seller of real estate sold you what they told you that they were going to sell you, and they had the right to do it. And in a lender's context, it's really just a policy uh, protecting the lender's loan, the dollar amount of their loan, as to lien position. It guarantees them that they are where, where they are in the pecking order and the land record as far as their lien position is concerned. Okay, so let me ask you though, as a, you know, my buyers will hire a firm like yours to go out and research the title and ensure that they are getting clear titles. So your abstractors or individuals who go to the courthouse, research the title, make sure that, wow, this title is clear. So you guys do all that work. So what is the purpose of the title insurance? Aren't you already guaranteeing a clear title when you do that? Uh, guaranteeing a clear title of record, sure. Um, but the title insurance policy protects buyers and, again, lenders also against unknown defects. Um, in Can you give us an example? Sure. Um, the inchoate lien for federal estate taxes. Uh, liens for federal estate taxes for decedents other federal liens that don't have to be recorded in the land records to attach to real property. Those can be liens that exist before a settlement that don't arise or that nobody knows about until after a settlement. Um, if somebody died mm -hmm. in your chain of title recently and they didn't pay their estate taxes, there's nothing that would exist in the record. The feds don't have to record anything to perfect their lien for estate taxes. Likewise, I'll with forged deeds, mm -hmm. um, deeds executed by minors or under powers of attorney that were forged or were um, there are all sorts of title defects that don't exist of record and that it's impossible for an abstractor or even a diligent attorney reviewing an abstractor's work to discover before it closes. So what does that mean in real terms to a buyer? Let's say, you know, they buy the house a couple of years go by and all of a sudden there is an issue. Mm -hmm. And somebody shows up and says, hey, what are you doing in my house? You know, this was my grandmother's house and uh, you, she didn't have the right to, you know, who you bought it from, didn't have the right to sell it. I'm, you know, I want my house back. What, uh, what does this, in practical terms, do for a buyer? Uh, that, that's a great example, by the way, that I didn't mention. Uh, <laughs> states and wills that weren't followed properly are, are, are a cause of title insurance claims after settlement that, that couldn't be discovered beforehand. Um, owner's title insurance has two aspects. It's a, it's a contract of indemnity, and it carries with it a duty to defend. Um, so in the example that you brought up, heirs were cut out of a will or a spouse didn't get her elective share and the transaction happened, there's a new buyer, didn't know about the old heirs, the heirs show up and say, we want our real estate or we want our cut of the proceeds from the old real estate and we want to sell the house existing to get that money back. What happens? What, is, what does the owner do that has owner's title insurance? Right. They call their title insurer and they make a claim. They let them know what's going on. The title insurer under the second aspect of owner's title insurance, the duty to defend, will likely hire an attorney like us for a lot of the national title underwriters in the area or, or another attorney to defend that lawsuit instead of instead of the buyer having to hire their own attorney in the DC metro area two hundred and fifty to five hundred dollars an hour the insurer will defend their title will hire the lawyers to defend their title. So in practical terms the buyer would call you and say, Hey I've got an issue here, uh, please handle it and then you guys really take up well through the title company, through the, the insurer, insurer um, is handed off to you, and they just kind of sit back and uh, let the powers that be handle the issue for them. That's right. Uh, and, and they're insured, they're covered. They are, and to the extent that it's a defect that can't be defended, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's just there was a forged deed in the chain of title, and this transaction really was no good, and these people are going to lose their houses, then they've also got a duty to indemnify. Part one of, of the of the kind of two big aspects of the title insurance policy: the insurer has a duty to indemnify the owner for their loss. 
So he purchased the property for what around here, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars. Two years later, the lawsuit happens. The insurance company defends you, but it was a defect that couldn't be cured. Mm -hmm. The insurer is going to pay you your eight hundred, seven hundred thousand dollar loss. Okay. So bottom line, a good idea to get title insurance. A good idea to get title <laughs> insurance. Uh, there is no it, titles to real estate in the United States are not like titles to cars, where somebody crosses off that they own the property and you write that you own the property and then you go and record it. The government doesn't really monitor land records in the United States. It's not like Europe, which has a touring system, but, uh, which is similar to our car title system here. There's no government imprimatur on what people are recording. There's no government oversight on transfers of real estate. And the lenders have all figured out, and the lenders all require you to buy down that lender's policy, um, that that's something that needs to be protected by insurance. Okay, so... What seems like a really simple topic really is not. It's uh, bottom line is, as I always tell my buyers, yes, your portion of the title insurance is optional, but I personally think it's a really bad idea to pass up on this insurance. You pay it once, uh, probably the best decision you ever made if it really does come to fruition and you need to uh, cash in on that policy. So, hope that helped. Uh, thank you, Matt Elijah of Shulman Rogers, for uh, enlightening, uh, enlightening us today. Excuse me. Uh, Aldebar, your personal realtor. Thank you.